everybody! Welcome to City and County Credit Union September Tip Tuesday. My name is Bailey and I am so glad that you're tuning in. This month we're talking with somebody really, really unique and we're talking about a topic that we haven't talked about on here before. Do you guys know the movie Shopaholic where she goes in, she fights for that last shoe in the store? We're talking about shopping. Maybe not that extreme, but also adding to your wardrobe in an affordable way. So today we're going to talk with a stylist who's located right here in the Twin Cities. We're going to chat with Katie B. Style. Hi everybody, I am so excited to introduce you to owner and CEO of Katie B. Style. This is Katie herself. Um, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. We are talking about something really different for our members today, but something that we've learned about finances and saving is that it's in all areas of your life. It's not just cutting that $5 Starbucks out, but it's being strategic about the decisions you make. So for starters, we would love to hear a little bit more about your business and why you do what you do. Yeah, so my business is all around clothes and helping your closet work for you in a budget-friendly way. So I had actually, after college, decided I was going to be a nurse, and while applying to grad schools, I had a few different part-time jobs, and one of those was at a local women's fashion retailer, and I absolutely loved the connections I was able to make with women through that job, um, and just really see the transformation of like when they came in the store, and then found those clothes that really worked for them, and left with a smile on their face. And while I loved that job, I didn't love the materialism and the mm -hmm. like buy, buy, buy culture that comes with the retail space. So I knew I wanted to do something similar, but more on a personalized level where I could come into women's closets and really help them reimagine the clothes they already own so they're not having to spend a ton of money to feel stylish. So I started my business in the beginning of 2020, and I just kind of have a desire to help women with anything in regards to their closets, so cleaning out closets, putting together outfits, packing for vacation, or shopping on a budget as well. Oh my gosh, I just love that. And I think you you really hit on it because when you do go into a store, and especially a boutique style store, it is really a buy, 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 we it have to is. meet commission. It's very different. And not that that isn't great, but it's nice to have a different alternative to feel that personal connection. And so for me, when I think of a stylist, or and how do you refer to yourself? Are you a wardrobe stylist? Is yeah, that okay? Yeah, personal stylist. Okay, so I think of that as like, I'm in LA, I'm a model, yeah. like I'm doing something fancy. Um, and so what if I were to work with you, what does that look like? Can an average Joe like Bailey work with somebody like Katie? Yes, absolutely. That is honestly what my favorite clientele is. What I like to do is very laid back. Well, I think when people think personal stylist, they're like, it's really expensive, it's really high fashion and really fancy. Mm -hmm. But I am super laid back. All of my sessions are very personalized to what the client needs. Um, and I like working with the clothes you already own. So it's not like I'm going to go make you buy a $200 jacket. I want you to be <laughs> able to get purpose out of the items you already wear, but just kind of reimagine them in new ways. Oh, I love that. <laughs> and especially too, because trends change so quickly. Absolutely. And as a female in the workplace, you do want to walk in feeling your best self and for males too. But I think as a female, there is this understanding that you're coming in with your best foot forward. And that oftentimes includes fashion. Mm -hmm. And so what are your services? Um, what do your packages look like? Yeah. Um, how can somebody start working with you? Yeah. So my most common services are closet cleanouts and wardrobe styling. So often actually I'll have clients do kind of a combination of both which is great with my price structure. I charge by the hour, and so you can really just do whatever we need to do um, just for an hourly rate. Um, so closet cleanouts, I will just come in, help you make those hard decisions of like what works for you, your personal style, your lifestyle, and fits, and is flattering on your body type. And then once we do that, oftentimes I'll also help with like the items that you keep, putting together outfits with that. And then I also offer a consignment service where I oh, actually wow. sell clothes for clients and oftentimes those are clients that I've helped clean out their closet. Um, but I also have a lot of clients who have cleaned out the closet on their own and then I just take the items and we split the profits. Oh my gosh, I yeah. love that. <laughs> and especially because you're doing what somebody needs, right? You're coming mm -hmm. to their home. And if you think about your last shopping trip, how many items have you worn, right? Like how many items can you say, I love that item, I wore it. So think about where you're saving in that essence, which brings me to my next question. Um, as a, a financial tip Tuesday, what is your most budget-friendly wardrobe tip? 
I, I have two. So one would be selling clothes online. So I started selling on Poshmark about six years ago, just clothes I wasn't wearing anymore during college. And then once I made the switch from working in a retail store to spending a little bit more time as a nanny, I had tons of clothes that didn't fit my lifestyle anymore. So I was selling those. And then at the beginning of, the 20, of 2020, I had helped my friend clean out her closets and we had like nine bags of clothes. Oh my gosh. Was <laughs> um, she was like, hey, would you be willing to sell, try selling these clothes for me? And then that's kind of snowballed and I've helped 40 clients now sell their wow. clothes online. That's incredible. Money. Yeah. What if you are like me who like maybe doesn't have a ton of designer brands yeah. and I'm like an old Navy shopper or sure. a Gap, um, if you can tell where I like to shop. <laughs> can I sell those items on Poshmark as well? Yes. Yep. Okay, great. Basically anything sells. There's people that need all types of clothing and all types of seasons. Two people ask me like, hey, can I sell a swimsuit in the middle of winter? Well, yes, because there's people mm -hmm. who live in Florida that still need swimsuits <laughs> in the middle of winter. Um, but yeah, so you'll, I mean, you won't make a ton of money, but you'll still make more money likely than you would if you brought it to a consignment shop. Okay, excellent. Um, and this is a, a self-fulfilling um, question. <laughs> yes. For a wardrobe, and I, I'm like a simple dresser, but I like to jazz it up with a few things. Are there simple ways that you can jazz up an outfit that aren't super expensive, but can give you that extra spunk, if you will? Yeah, so I think how you style things. So like, for example, I did a little half tuck in my shirt today. If I would have just worn my shirt out, it might've just looked like I threw my outfit together. But I just took like those extra steps of how to style things that really make your outfit to the next level. And if you come to my house or we do a virtual <laughs> meet, you help me with that stuff. Absolutely. Yep. Okay, that is excellent. That's what I need the most help with. <laughs> yeah. And I'm sure if you're sitting at home, you know, buying a full new wardrobe isn't an option for not even myself, right? So she can come in, Katie comes in and helps you reorganize your closet, figure out what works for you from what you already have, which I think is really, really important. All right, I've got a bonus tip for you in regards to saving money on your closet. Be open-minded to finding clothes cheaper ways. So whether that be looking on Poshmark, Mercari, or eBay to find those designer brands at a cheaper price, or maybe your mom, your friend, your grandma is getting rid of something and it might work for you. So my 94-year-old grandma just got rid of a black blouse and at first glance I was like, Ugh, that is not going to work for me. But I cut out the shoulder pads and styled it in a more modern way and now I have a new black blouse for zero dollars. And then lastly, you can also be open to thrifting, which I know sounds very intimidating sometimes because stores are so big and they're packed full of clothes. But as long as you've got the patience for it, you can find some great unique pieces for very inexpensive. And in my personal shopping service, I've actually helped some clients through thrifting to just kind of sort through the chaos and find the items that work for them. How can a member get started with you and work with Katie? Yeah, so the I think the easiest way is to follow me on Instagram. I share a lot of tips on styling and closet organization and everything on there. And that's also a good way to kind of like see what I'm all about before actually reaching out if you want to do that. Um, you can also head to my website, which is kdbstyle.com, where you can see a little bit more information about the services I provide. And I also post blog posts on there with styling tips, outfit ideas, and everything on there as well. Yeah. I love it. Well, we love free content and especially yeah. too, so we can get to know you. Um, and I, before, she has a really great introduction video on her website. So if you are interested, that is a great starting point to learn who Katie is. And with that, everybody, that is another Tip Tuesday. We will see you next month. And thank you so much for being here. Yes, definitely.